Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking a hardy, shedding out gigs. Cappy as the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins to the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings it a one feet one. Try to see who wins. And UFC. Yes, everybody. Welcome back to the United Twins with myself, C. Emma, my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. The first half of Cristiano Ronaldo's interview with Piers Morgan has just finished, and we're here to react. So initially, Cristiano speaks about the state of the club, being Manchester United, stating that, and I quote, When I signed for Manchester United, I thought everything had changed. I was surprised in a bad way. Everything was the same. In comparison to the clubs he was at in Real Madrid and Juventus, United have stayed the same and have not followed the progressions and developments of the Western world, which is something he alluded to also in the interview. We all as fans can see how clubs around Europe, around the world really, have been able to use technology to adapt and give their players the best chance to maximize their skill sets, but also their health, which goes hand in hand. Another thing that I agreed with personally, and what we really already knew, was the fact that when Sir Alex and David Gill left in 2013, there was a massive gap left behind. And unfortunately, those in crucial roles, especially when you focus on the hierarchy, were not fit for purpose when it came to success on the football pitch. But I already have a strange suspicion that many, many years before Sir Alex was even close to retirement, that was never the main focus when it came to the ownership. And quite frankly, it showed. The Glazers and Manchester United have failed to adapt to protect and preserve the future of this football club and for the last several years the players who have been here the coaches and the fans who have devoted their time and money to the club have paid for it the final part that i'm going to cover is interesting because he speaks about the younger generation how they receive information CM, which is something that was mentioned before, if you guys remember when he did an interview in January this year, I believe with Sky Sports, if I'm not mistaken, where he referred to younger players not being able to accept criticism and how the hard work and care side of things need to come from within. It was similar to that where Ronaldo even spoke about himself at a younger age and paying close attention to the experienced players like Kirill Van Nistelrooy or Roy Keynes as an example. Ronaldo mentioned Diogo Delo as a young but professional player. He also mentioned uh, Alessandro Martinez and name dropped Casemiro in there even though he is an elder statesman but really wanted to focus on the younger players and how they receive information whether what they are told and what they observe goes in one ear and comes out the other. The main message from the whole segment was something I agree with and at times struggle with myself in these times with the internet and other sources CM that give you free shortcuts. It can be difficult to reject those things. But once you get used to it and even once you're thrown into the deep end, you then realize that those shortcuts will not help you to get out of deep trouble. That's all I'm going to say about that in general. There were plenty of other things that he spoke about in his personal life, of course, uh, to do with his former colleagues, as he refers to them as in Gary Neville and Wayne Rudy. But I'm going to let the internet run wild on those things, ladies and gents. But let us know in the comment section below what you thought of the first 45 minutes of this interview. Tomorrow on Thursday, the final, the second part, as 
we should call it is going to be aired so i guess we're gonna check it out and we will come with a reaction also uh, our guy cm over there is going to be on readers united's channel they have a weekly podcast called united tropics it's usually on tuesday but they're gonna cover it on thursday today after the final interview so be sure to check that out ladies and gentlemen and so thank you for the support once again over these episodes of the united twins be sure to hit a like subscribe to the channel if you're new share it to your friends and frenemies and until the next time we'll see you a lot soon